Hi, I'm Weiling Deng, co-founder and chief strategy officer at Stacklock. In this video, I'm going to share six key considerations when securing your container, container images. Container images are the standard delivery format for cloud-native applications, and so they form an important area to focus your security efforts on. When Im implemented correctly, image security controls can have an outsized impact on protecting your Kubernetes environments. To start, you want to ensure that you and your team are using trusted, updated base images. And this means that the images should come from a known company or open source community. It should be hosted on a reputable registry and you know, the, the Docker file and source code for all image components should be available as well. And you wanna be cautious when it comes to public images. There have been numerous examples of you know, images that are backdoored and, and available on existing public registries that have been used to run malicious processes. And you also want to you know, confirm that these images are going to be regularly updated, especially to address recently and relevant um, vulnerabilities uh, that have been discovered. Um, next, you want to ensure that the components in your application images are minimal, um, to the point where you, know, you only have the ones that are most essential for your applications uh, to run. And um, here you want to ensure that you, you really reduce the number of you know, tools and binaries and libraries and configuration files that are packaged up in your image. Uh, you also want to avoid um, you know, installing package managers, uh, certain network tools and clients or Unix shells. And some other best practices also include avoiding compilers and debuggers in production. Uh, containers that also include leveraging uh, multi-stage you know, Docker files. Um, and then additionally, uh, you want to treat your containers as immutable and ephemeral, meaning uh, they shouldn't be patched. Third, you know, now let's talk about secrets. And you should not embed secrets in your images. And this is because um, you know, anyone who can pull your image would be able to extract your secret. And secrets can include sensitive data such as TLS certificate keys, SSH private keys, uh, database passwords, cloud provider credentials, and more. And so instead, use Kubernetes secrets to supply secrets to your running pods, or alternatively use um, an another secret management solution. As you're building your image, uh, you want to ensure that it doesn't introduce vulnerabilities into your environment. And so to accomplish this, you want to scan your image for vulnerabilities. And you actually have multiple options here. Uh, some registries integrate scanners. Um, some scanner, scanners focus on uh, catching you know, uh, vulnerabilities in operating system packages. Others focus on language uh, specific uh, vulnerabilities as well. Um, and so you want to scan, um, for your, uh, scan for vulnerabilities, but you also want to incorporate scanning as part of your CI pipeline so that it becomes a requirement for passing builds. And once you've done that, then you can uh, start to implement criteria to help determine you know, when it may warrant potentially failing uh, a build as well. Now, once you've you know, scanned and built your image, you need to store it in a registry. And I recommend using either a private internal registry um, or one hosted by a cloud provider uh, that allows you to hook into their identity and access management services. And registries also have additional controls. Um, you know, some of these include um, immutable image tags, um, as well as image signing. And so immutable tags will allow you to determine what version of an image is deployed at any given time. And then additionally, um, Image signing uses cryptographic means to help you at the time that you're going to use an image to actually deploy containers to verify that the contents of that image uh, have not actually been modified or changed. And once you've implemented all of these controls, you then want to enforce policies across them. And how to think about enforcing these policies are to come up with some criteria that constitute an unsafe image or thinking about metrics uh, for instance, uh, when was an image last scanned? Uh, what tools are in an image? Uh, how many vulnerabilities exist within an image? And are there patches or fixes available for them? Or what are the criticality or severity of the vulnerabilities that exist within the image? Uh, we've now uh, covered the six key 
aspects of securing your container images. By following these, you can increase the security of your Kubernetes environments. To learn more, visit www.sacrox.com.